So I would like you to experience the fold just like I did, right from the time I unboxed it. After taking off the two foldable sides of the box, you get to the smartphone. You would expect this one to ship with some sort of protective case, but nope, the extra box only has a SIM ejector tool and the guide. What you do get is a list of warnings on the plastic cover, you know, telling you to not go poking at the display. Taking the cover off reveals this phone in its full glory. You have the frosted glass back. Keeping that folded aside, we have the charging brick, the charging cable and earphones. When you boot up the phone for the first time though, you will be asked to go on with the getting started process using the screen inside. This was the first time I got to take a look at it and it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's really sick. A few more taps and there we go. The first look at that display fully loaded up. Starting with the secondary display that's on the outside of the fold. It's a 6.23 inch AMOLED panel and Samsung has stretched it all the way to the corners. This is mainly to have a quick glance at stuff so you don't have to bother with opening and closing the foldable display for every single notification. It's a 60Hz panel so there's that. When you do open it up, you get this gorgeous 7.6 inch foldable display. And more importantly, Samsung is now using actual ultra thin glass to reinforce it. The hinge too has gone under the knife and honestly, it feels solid. Under the hood, you got flagship quality specs, including Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus processor. In terms of optics, there are fewer cameras on the inside and honestly, it's fine, especially since the screen isn't interrupted. At the back, you have three 12 megapixel cameras with wide telephoto and ultra wide lenses. And you get 10 megapixel sensors on the outer and inner screens as well. 